Hi everyone. Hello. So you and I are planning something very wild today. Yes, really wild. <laughs> so last year we went on a very nice walk along the Shropshire Union Canal and there was some sort of wood area next to it and we stumbled upon wild garlic. Yeah. At least that's what I remember. Yeah, last, let's see if she remembers it in Cor the right way. Correctly, yeah. And now we try to find the spot and yeah, we want to pick some wild garlic to make some pesto. And yeah, I, I also spotted a very nice recipe on Pinterest. And it's, um, it's like a puff pastry with um, wild garlic and spinach. Oh, so oh. That sounded so, so good. And we've never done that before. So fingers crossed we find wild garlic. And yeah, I think it will be fun. So let's try to find the spot. We found this spot here with lots of wild garlic. It isn't blooming yet, which makes it even more beautiful. But I think this is great. My little red riding hood. Yeah. Show me your basket. Yeah. That should be, I think that should be all right. That should be enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Looking mm. forward to. And it smells good. Yeah, it does. It actually really smells good. And so many people say that this is, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of garlic. But so many people say that this is a lot better. It's like like a milder version, yeah. so that should be interesting. Mm. It smells really good. Yeah. And I always have the impression that wild garlic is a lot more widespread here than in Germany. I don't know. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Cause but it's probably because we have more woodland with um, this kind of evergreen. True, yeah. yeah, true. But I think, I'm not sure, maybe another two weeks and this will be like in full bloom. Yeah. And there are some areas in the UK that look like a fairy tale with wild garlic in bloom. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, we should come back in two weeks time. Yeah. So it's the next day and we are in our kitchen. Yes, and the kitchen smells of wild garlic. <laughs> yes, it's a very strong smell in here. But it's nice. Yeah. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a gluten-free wild garlic and spinach puff pastry pie. Yeah, a simple pie. Yeah, it sounded so nice and yeah, we, we think it's going to be beautiful yeah. and lovely. And as always, we're going to share the recipe down below in the info box. Yeah. And now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to share what you will need. For this recipe, you need fresh wild garlic, spinach leaves, eggs, feta cheese, ricotta, Butter, olive oil, parmesan, sprinkles.
spring onions, gluten-free puff pastry, gluten-free breadcrumbs, nutmeg, salt and pepper of course. First crumble the feta into a large bowl and mash it with a fork. Then add the parmesan, the ricotta, the breadcrumbs, the spring onions and the eggs and of course the nutmeg oil and salt and pepper and mix it well now roll out your puff pastry on a work surface and brush it with melted butter and then pop it into your baking dish quite easy Add the egg mixture to your spinach and garlic leaves and stir together well. Spoon the mixture into the pastry line tin and spread it out evenly. Put another buttered pastry sheet on top and this is what it looks like after 45 minutes in the oven. Quite yummy! And Yelk wants to try it as always. Can I have a look again? You're not saying anything. Not good. I'm just polite. You're polite? Yeah. Why? I've been told that when, you are, when your mouth is full, you shouldn't speak. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay, now that it's empty, let's have a verdict. It's is really it? tasty. Mm -hmm. Now, let's make the wild garlic pesto. This is a Jema Oliver recipe, very, very easy. For this, you need wild garlic, of course, then nuts and wheat to pine nuts. They are perfect for pesto. Then half a lemon, parmesan, olive oil, and last but not least, some salt. Put the wild garlic leaves into a bowl and run your food processor. Then add some salt, pine nuts, and run your food processor again. Finally, add the parmesan and just mix everything very well. Add the olive oil and the lemon juice. Mix once more and fill it into a glass. And honestly, this is the quickest and easiest recipe ever. So, I have a confession to make. Go on. While I really love foraging, I, I just found out I really enjoy that, I'm not too wild about wild garlic. I thought the puff pastry with the wild garlic and spinach filling was nice, but because I told you earlier, because I'm just not a fan of, of garlic, and I thought maybe I would love that better, wild garlic. It's just not really my cup of tea. But I think if you love garlic, 
you will love wild garlic as well. And yeah, this is why we just make the pesto for Yerk. <laughs> I feel bad. Yerk just came home from work and we're going to make you dinner. Yeah. And what are we cooking, Yerk? Spaghetti. Spaghetti with, with homemade wild garlic pesto. Yeah. And we think this is the perfect recipe when you're looking for something really quick and easy yeah. during the week. Yes. Yeah. Because usually everybody's able to cook some noodles. Some, <laughs> some noodles. Some spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah. Pasta is always, it's always great yeah. during the week if you're a bit in a hurry and, yeah. I don't know, a bit knackered from work. And this is all you need. And because I'm not having this, these are regular and not gluten-free spaghetti, parmesan, and our homemade pesto. And this is so complicated. <laughs> We're just boiling water and add some olive oil. Yerk's drink tonight is... Victorian lemonade. Which is really good. Yeah, we I like it. That. Yeah. We often have Victorian lemonade when we visit National Trust properties. Yeah. You know what's really funny? Cooking the pasta takes even longer then preparing fresh pesto. And what I also made, because I think this is a nice addition, I took some tomatoes and put them in the oven for about 15 minutes so that they are really soft. while Jörg is having dinner, I'll have a look at the latest issue of House and Garden, which has an amazing cover. Chin's charming, beautiful. So that's nice. Is it really? Yes, I like it. That's good. So I'm going to enjoy that. Yes, you're going to enjoy your dinner. So, bye. Bye. <laughs> so, we'll see you again very soon. I have my latest house and garden issue. I'm looking forward to diving into that. And until next time, bye. Bye bye. <laughs>